Reserve's latest move to bump up two key interest rates appears to be having a positive effect on the economy. But a new CNN Time Magazine poll shows many Americans remain skeptical. More than half of 600 people surveyed said they think inflation will be higher in six months. 42% said they think inflation will stay the same. And just 4% said they thought it would drop. Meanwhile, less than a third of those polled said the recession is over in the area where they live. Two-thirds said the recession is continuing. On Wall Street, blue-chip stocks were lower yesterday until a last-minute burst of buying. The Dow Jones Industrial Average finished higher for the seventh straight session, getting seven points to close at 37.66 on heavy volume. For the week, the Dow gained 106 points. The past few months have been something of a roller coaster ride on Wall Street. And as Terry Keenan reports, there are probably more ups and downs to come. On the heels of the promised year in six decades, navigating the market rapids in 1994 has become a lot more difficult. So far this year, the Dow has experienced 50-point swings on 15 occasions, compared to just nine times in all of 1993. Increased volatility can often signal a turn in market sentiment, and this year has been no exception. Since uh, the beginning of February, we've seen excessive volatility in all the markets, which frequently would translate into a downward uh, price movement. Experts attribute some of this year's uneasiness to uncertainty about the Federal Reserve's interest rate intentions. But there are other factors behind Wall Street's recent swings. With so much competition for mutual fund money, portfolio managers have been quicker than usual to dump stocks at the first sign of weakness. In addition, program trading has resumed with a vengeance. After accounting for at most 14% of all NYSE volume in 1993, program trades have flared to account for as much as 30% of activity at the height of this year's sell-off. Well, what's happened is the fact that the program of trading has, has magnified a decline. Uh, I have contended that you're basically seeing a 5% or so correction, which has uh, been stretched to 10% because in the vacuum of uh, buyer apathy or concern, uh, aggressive sell programs uh, have taken uh, the market down further than it would have ordinarily gone. But while programs have accelerated the swings, investors should get used to it. Market historians say after two years of abnormally calm trading, this year's action is more the norm than the exception. Terry Keenan, CNN Business News, New York. U.S. and Japanese negotiators will meet again today to try to jumpstart trade talks. They've been holding framework talks in Washington since Thursday. The two sides are seeking ways to narrow a $59 billion trade gap. In Tokyo, U.S. Ambassador to Japan Walter Mondale says he's hopeful of progress. But he says Japan's surplus threatens the world trading system. Well, China reportedly is considering jailing and executing people who violate copyright and trademark laws. State-controlled Chinese media say government officials are singling out a need for harsh penalties to safeguard intellectual property. The United States has been pressuring Beijing to crack down on rampant piracy of American books, movies, music, and computer software. At the same time, the U.S. is threatening to revoke China's most favored trade status because of alleged human rights violations. Headline Sports is next. This is Headline News, a CNN network.